Yep. What's going on, guys? This is that point today. We're going to be talking about five great things about Fortnite. At number five, we have Fortnite lore, and there, this is uh, on basically the bottom of my not tier list tier list, but it kind of is, but it's depth that it isn't at the same time. No pressure tier list, what have you. Um, because a lot of this is either very subtle or very in your face. So you have them like hidden in quests, you have little secret things, you have things hidden in dialogue. Then you have live events that just assume that you know what's going on most of the time. And that can be a bit hard, but find good things about Fortnite. And so I'm putting this on here because this is the main reason why I continued playing Fortnite in the first place. Did not mean to do that, but I'm I'm okay with that. Ah, oh, almost had him. Anyways, the, the story and lore can sometimes get a bit lost, so that's that's the reason why it's not any higher on the list. How is this guy still alive? Ah, oh, finally. Okay, we got it. So that's why it's all the way down there. Otherwise, I'm sure it would be a lot higher because it's the main reason why I like playing Fortnite originally back in chapter 2, season 2, you know, he had Agent Jones as re revealed at the very end of that season. It was doing very good at being subtle but still being very open on what the all, what like what the story is. Unlike right now where it's a bit a bit harder, but still is overall a, you know pretty decent. In the current season that I'm playing in right now, they added, you know, heisting and time travel and I'm interested to see where they're going to take it. At number four we have the collaboration and this is in the form of many things. You've got Star Wars, you got all Marvel, <laughs> you've got some Icon series skins, DC, gaming. It's it's just incredible how much they can do. Not, not to mention even fan artists and things who make their own skins get some pretty good recommendations from them as well. Including things, uh, I believe uh, this guy was one, if not him, I know Lieutenant Don Lama was a fan of him. So it's just cool to see all the great things, like all the collabs they can do. It's just, there's so much, you know, you, you don't really have very many other games where you can have, you know, Ariana Grande holding Kylo Ren, <laughs> holding Kylo Ren, Rick Sanchez, and like, uh, I don't remember, there was another one in that meme. Uh, and just, you know. Doctor Strange at gunpoint and need to help Spider-Man uh, save them. Uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. At number three, we have the community, and I came here to the Discover page just because the community means a lot of things. We have the YouTubers and all of the things like that, but also all these people who are making the maps and, you know, playing the game, you know, most are not, you know, horribly toxic. So it's just good to see of like how many things people can make and the different ways people can remix this game and it's and you know keep the game going because you know community is what basically keeps any game going and you got basically minecraft hardcore uh and stuff on here it's like there's, there's just so much it's, it's crazy and uh yeah at number two, we have live events, and I mean, come on, live events are amazing. You have things like the Galactus event, at, which is the top tier, as well as like the device event. And these are like some of my favorite parts of Fortnite. So you get some good pre-earned media. Uh, so that's the number one thing I think Fortnite does great about. Yeah, I know I said it wasn't too much, but you know, kind of is. But in my opinion, number one thing that Fortnite like the number one great thing about Fortnite is they're willing to take risks. They they've like mantling, sliding, motorcycles, even vehicles in the first place were kind of in question of whether whether or not they're gonna be added. Like, they they said no at first to any vehicles basically ever. And you have helicopters, you have crazy seasons with crazy mythics like chapter two season four and, and it's just like they flipped the island, they, they went a little more lore heavy, they added so many new weapons and themes, they added heist, they added raptors and wild stuff, they added augments, 
the game. Like, they've done so many things. They try new things, like, constantly, and that's one of the great things about this game, is that they, they're, they are willing to do what it takes. And this person... Got lucky. Well, that's it for my top five things, but now I guess I just have to see if we're gonna actually win this round. I don't know how I landed up here. <laughs> that was the most creepy laugh ever, but also, haha, ha, ha, I beat them. I think this might be the actual best hiding spot ever. I wonder how my prediction video went for chapter 5, because uh, this video is probably coming out during chapter 5, and uh, uh, it's not, not chapter 5, yeah, I haven't reported that yet even, so... Oh, third. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.